There's no doubt that Kawhi Leonard is one of the premier players in the NBA. Known for his unusually big hands, unparalleled defense, some called him the LeBron stopper, the finals MVP, and one of, if not the best two-way player in the league. All of which describe Kawhi Leonard perfectly, but he's not known for any of these as well as he's known for being extremely quiet, especially for a superstar of his caliber. In this video, I'll take an in-depth look at Kawhi Leonard's early life and the struggles he went through to get to the point he's at now. This guy is truly an inspiration to all, and I thought I knew a lot about his story before making this video, but there's so much more I discovered that made me even a bigger fan of his. Kawhi Leonard, take one. Kawhi was born on June 29, 1991 in Los Angeles to his father Mark Leonard and his mother Kim Robertson. He was the baby of the family, watched over by four older sisters. When Kawhi was seven, he told his pediatrician that he planned to play in the NBA one day. Do you know how many kids come in the office and say that? The doctor replied. But that didn't crush Kawhi's motivation one bit. Kawhi's mom said that he would quietly observe his older sisters, immerse in their adolescent dramas, and avoid any of his own. The first sport Kawhi played was football. It was his father's favorite sport, though Kawhi began to fall in love with basketball more and more as he grew older into his teen years. Kawhi is cousins with Stevie Johnson, a wide receiver who most formerly played for the San Diego Chargers. According to friends and family, Kawhi would call coaches and parents sir and ma'am. He handed footballs to officials after touchdowns, and he passed basketballs to friends instead of shooting them himself. He would watch Come Fly With Me, a 1980s documentary about Michael Jordan, until his eyes ached. But the promise of movies, commercials, and double pump highlights were not what enticed him. I don't like to bring attention to myself, he says now. I don't like to make a scene. Basketball was an outlet, not a showcase, a vehicle for escape rather than glory. I could be on the court for two hours and it felt like ten minutes, he says. It made time go by. Math was his favorite subject and it produced a similar effect. His mother says that he could lose himself in geometry homework, calculating angles and solving problems, not having to deal with big crowds or nosy questions. Kawhi's best friend growing up, Jeremy Castleberry, says that so many people care so much about being popular these days, but that it was never on Kawhi's mind. Kawhi and his father, Mark, were very close. He taught Kawhi everything he knew. He taught him his shot, he ran him up hills in the summer to get in shape, he stayed on him about his grades, he fueled Kawhi's unbelievable work ethic. His father owned a car wash in Compton where they lived. Kawhi would work there with his father throughout the year. Kawhi's mom says that if the car Kawhi was hand washing didn't turn out clean enough to eat spaghetti off of, his dad would make him do it again. She said that she'd remember Kawhi coming home exhausted sometimes and say he was never going to wash a car again. Kawhi says that his dad taught him how to work hard, and it's obviously something that he carried on with him to where he's at now in the NBA. It's clear that Kawhi and his dad had a special bond, and Kawhi says that his dad would never miss any of his basketball games or football games growing up. Kawhi attended Canyon Springs High School in Moreno Valley, just outside of LA, for his first two years of high school. During a basketball game in his sophomore year, Kawhi declined to correct a reporter at the game, who was mistakenly awarding his points to a teammate. Kawhi's mom told him at halftime of the game, and he responded, doesn't matter. It just shows how little he's changed since then, and that his mindset is purely on himself and winning, and not the accolades. His junior year of high school, Kawhi transferred to Martin Luther King High School. On January 18th, 2008, Mark Leonard, Kawhi's father, was closing up shop at the car wash when one last car pulled up, asking him to take one final wash. He agreed to do it. Yet instead of what was supposed to be a routine car wash, Mark ended up being shot. He was taken to a hospital where he was later pronounced dead. They suspect it started out as a robbery, which escalated to him getting shot. Yet the murder suspects are still at large 10 years later. Kawhi's best friend growing up, Jeremy, says that when stuff like this happens in that neighborhood, people won't phone in. People don't talk. They're just like, dang, gunshots again. The next night, Kawhi scored 17 points and then collapsed into his mother's arms in tears. Jeremy said, that night at that game is about the last time we really talked about it. Kawhi's mom, Kim, says that for a long time, Kawhi really wanted to know who did it. But after a while, he just had to let it go. So you can see perhaps the reason for why Kawhi is so quiet and reserved. Having to go through all that as a child, it's a miracle that he's made it to where he's at now. A year later, during his senior year, Kawhi averaged 22.6 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists, and 3 blocks per game in one California Mr. Basketball. He and Tony Snell led the King High Wolves to a 30-3 record. He blew off a Nike camp invitation he received at the end of the season. Kawhi told his AAU coach that he didn't need the exposure. Considered a 4-star recruit by Rivals.com, Leonard was listed as the number 8 small forward and the number 48 player in the nation in 2009. Kawhi was originally recruited by numerous prestigious schools, including UCLA and USC. He had his sights set on UCLA, however during a brief stint with a different AAU team Kawhi was a part of, Kawhi was outperforming a player by the name of Renardo Sidney, as well as other 4-star recruits on their team. 
Renardo Sidney's father was the head coach of the team. When he noticed that Kawhi was outperforming his son, he started to badmouth him to college coaches. And suddenly, all of the big time schools that were recruiting Kawhi just dropped off and stopped recruiting him out of nowhere. Because of this, Kawhi ultimately ended up committing to play for Coach Fisher at San Diego State. In his freshman year at SDSU, Kawhi averaged 12.7 points, 10 rebounds, and 2 assists per game. He led the Aztecs to a 25-9 record in the Mountain West Conference tournament title, but lost in the first round of the NCAA tournament. UCLA didn't even make the tournament that year. In Kawhi's sophomore season, he averaged 15.7 points and 10.4 rebounds, as the Aztecs finished with a 34-3 record and won back-to-back -back conference tournament championships. They returned to the NCAA tournament. This time, SDSU would advance to the Sweet 16 where they lost to the eventual national champion, UConn. He was named to the second team All-American and would forgo his final two seasons at San Diego State to enter the 2011 NBA Draft. NBA Draft, the Indiana Pacers select Kawhi Leonard from San Diego State University. It's pretty well known that Kawhi was originally drafted by the Indiana Pacers, but was traded to the Spurs later that night in exchange for George Hill. After Spurs starter Richard Jefferson was traded to the Golden State Warriors for Steven Jackson during the 2011-2012 season, Kawhi was promoted to the starting small forward position and the rest is history. Bills, not that time, Leonard on the follow! Kawhi Leonard throws it down! For three, left it short, oh! Up top, raise the rope! Kawhi Leonard, two-hand tip, find the open man. Leonard raises up, another with the bottom! Come up and shoot it. Harden. Blocked by Leonard. Nene. Blocked by Aldridge. Spurring basketball. Oh, what a play. Well, that's the biggest thing. He wants to beat him in that first half. First quarter. Kawhi He was named the finals MVP the year that he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with LeBron in the finals. Defensive player of the year in 2015, as well as multiple all-star appearances. And at only 26 years old, it's pretty clear he's going to be one of the premier players in the NBA for the foreseeable future. Kawhi's been injured for the majority of this season, but when he's on the court, he's one of my favorite players, hands down. To research and hear about what he went through as a child and the difficulties he had to make it to where he is now, he's truly got one of the most inspirational stories of any NBA player. I hope this gives you guys a better perspective on maybe why Kawhi is the way he is, and I for one don't want him to change at all. And I don't think he will. Thanks for watching guys, if you have any recommendations for players you'd like me to do before the fame video on next, let me know in a comment below.